Hi guys and welcome to a new video today, Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge with me and today we are going to install Bixby Voice on the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. So before we start with this video, I just wanted to show you my current setup of this video here. So you can see that I'm really, really, really limited. So, you know, I moved to Turkey and I don't have any tripod at the moment. I don't have uh, good internet. I don't have a camera, so I'm going to use my phone as a camera and so on. So you can see I'm really, really, really limited here. And because of that, I'm really sorry if this video won't have a good quality. But now let's start with the video. So um, Bixby Voice is a feature just like Siri, just like Microsoft Cortana and so on. So, you know, it's it's a personal assistant and it is only available for the Samsung Galaxy S8 for now. But there's still a way how we can get the Bixby Voice um, feature on Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. For that, you need to be rooted and you uh, also need to have TWRP installed on your device and yeah so now let's start with the guide so first of all be sure that you have an Galaxy S8 ROM on your device so this um, this trick here will only work on Galaxy S8 ROMs right so the first thing you need to do is to download all the files which I have provided in the description of this video so you need to download the APKs first I've done that already so go to the my files app Go to the internal storage, download, and here we are. So here are all the APKs which you need to install. So now let's do that quickly. have done that go to the settings of your phone go to the apps section and delete all the data or all the stored data of all Bixby apps you have installed so here we have Bixby wake up press on there go to storage and clear the data here now let's do that with all the Bixby apps which we have so scroll up until you see another Bixby app here After you have done that, you need to download the CSC um, Flash Able, which I have also provided in the description of this video. So download it, paste it on your device storage and boot into the TWRP recovery. So now we are going to flash the American CSC. So just power off your device. Press the volume up button, the home button and the power button at the same time. Here in the TWRP recovery you need to go to the install option and install the zip file. So go to the download section and this here is the CSC selection zip file. Just swipe to flash. Now we are in the Aroma installer. Here you need to press on next, agree, press next again, say installation, okay. Here you need to... Um, go to the XAA, press on there, press next again and go here and say XAA again. After that press next and say install now. Now press next again and boot to the system. Now after the device has booted up, get here and install the app called Button Mapper. So just install this app, it's available in the Play Store. You can also download the APK file from the description. After you have installed this app, open it, go to the volume buttons, enable customize, 
press on double tap and select assistant from here. Now we can use Bixby Voice on our Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. To launch it, you can just swipe to the left or basically open Hello Bixby or Bixby Home. So now let's set up Bixby Voice. Here you need to select your language. You can see it uh, only English and Korean is available at the moment. I'm sure that they will add new languages with time, but for now only English is available. So select English, say confirm. <clears throat> And this here is Bixby Voice on the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Now let's set it up. Say skip. Hi Bixby. Hi Bixby. Hi Bixby. Hi Bixby. Open messages. Hi Bixby. Turn on Bluetooth. Next. Skip. After you are done with the uh, setup of Bixby Voice, you can basically double tap the volume up button to launch it. And yeah, so now let's try it once. Hi Bixby, open internet. And as you can see, it works just fine. So this was a short video showing how to install Bixby Voice on the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, do a dislike as always. And peace out.